long ago, in the distant future, where evil knights joust upon beasts of the air, you too must fly, joust, and retrieve the enemy's egg before it hatches, and beware the lava below. You can experience this world from the other side. It's called Joust, the arcade game, home now only from Atari. A video game? Hardly. Joust. You don't play it. You live it. All right, so we're recording now, just so you know. Was that an intentional comment? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Just a, <laughs> we have a history of not informing you, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. And joining me today is my buddy, Jordan. Oh, man, look at these graphics. <laughs> <laughs> Atari. Is that an actual thing? No, I just kind of made that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought it was like Sega. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> Copyright infringement. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joust is one of the games in the 1001 Games book. Um, and I think you technically can actually play the single player. For some reason, I, th I remembered it as multiplayer only. Mm. So I sort of earmarked it for when you were around, but uh, I think there is a single player game, but it'll be more fun trying to kill each other. I, I, I've honestly never played this. This doesn't look familiar to me at all. So Oh, really? Yeah. I Now that I'm seeing this. I, oh, okay. So you'll have no idea. It's, I, uh, basically, it's like Balloon Fight. You've played Balloon Fight, right? I believe, yes. Balloon Fight NES. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a little so more familiar. You control like this duck or whatever, and you have to like <laughs> land on the other guy's head. Okay. So that that's basically all there is to it. Okay. And we're battling each other. I think, um, I don't know how to set it up into two-player mode. Um, let's see. It's like we'll just take turns. No, there, there is like a, there is like a, an actual mode where we fight each other. Did, <laughs> I, 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 did, did Atari have other games that had to? Uh, oh, here we mode? go. I figured it out. Oh, there. Yeah. The, the weird thing about Atari. Sorry, I'll answer your question. What if but, I hit you? Oh, see. Oh, what? <laughs> I landed on you. What the? That's what you get. Um, so, and then you got to capture the eggs. See, so I just beat that level. Yeah. So anyway, I'll, I'll give you a chance to figure it out. Um, but Whoa. the really annoying thing about Atari is like all the, oh, all the difficulty the? switches. Do you remember Atari? Oh, well, it got me too. Do you remember Atari had like all these like switches on the top of the console and you had to like flick them and that would turn it into like two player mode, yes. one player yeah, mode. Yeah, totally. Like it would, it would, uh, oh, Whoa. you almost got it. You almost got <laughs> it. I'm gonna win! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, oh, I went through. Oh, what the? Oh, come on! <laughs> what a ripoff! <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember those switches. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's impossible. Like you have to like know which ones to hit. Oh, oh, you got an egg. Oh, watch out! The the ground there is red. It's lava. Like the oh, the middle platform is disappearing as we, as we pass levels. I got yeah. you. Sorry, we should probably explain. This oh, is really, Jesus. really weird. Um, your your guy runs automatically, so like if I just stop touching oh. the buttons, I run. Uh, like if you're standing on a platform, like I can't. Can I stop that? You you can, but oh, it, it's I... it's really weird. The yeah, controls it's... are a little not. Ah, uh, yeah. Give me that. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I was fine, but you weren't even. I thought you had to land on me. I feel like that was, I was more. Slightly... Oh, I just went into the lava. Oh. <laughs> Well, victory for me then. Uh oh, am I, I? I think you're out of life. Am I maybe? finished? That's it, eh? Yeah. So I don't know what. I guess I just play forever. Now? You keep going, or does it get increasingly? I guess does the lava raise faster eventually? Or it, I... in the single player mode, there's more than one red bird, um, and I think there are like different kinds of birds that chase you and stuff. This seems kind of pointless. Like after you've beaten the opponent, like just play a casual easy level, huh? Forever. Yeah, so these so these controls are a little awkward. It's sort of it's almost like you know you push the button and there's a bit of a delay. So yeah, it's, it's sort yeah, of yeah. it's a very weird feeling. There is a bit. It's not uh it's not sharp. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna reset this so we don't just have to watch this forever. But uh, okay, this is round two. Like you can just like run. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> you can like ja literally oh. joust. <laughs> Ah! I, I, plan, I plan that. You tricked me. <laughs> he tricked me. Check, check, check. <laughs> um. Oh jeez. Whoa. It's very bouncy. Yeah, it's really. It's like crazy bouncy. Ah, yeah, that's, that's my egg. So, it, so, it, so it's really getting the eggs. So whoever kills the guy, that doesn't yeah. matter, right? No. 
Stop! Oh, I was on the lava there. Oh, oh man, <laughs> you really have a lot of momentum. This is crazy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> he jousted me. Anyway, sorry, we got super distracted. What were, your initial question was like, has Atari made other multiplayer games or something like that? Yeah. Right? I, is there a lot of multiplayer games like this in Atari? I don't know. I feel like there are. There, there's a fair amount. Oh, jeez. Oh, get oh out of here. yeah. <sighs> there's a fair amount just because um, it's simpler to add a second player than to add AI. So like, oh, if really? you're if you know if you have a game like this, it's actually easier to make it oh, geez, two players than it is to. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I could feel than it, it is huh? to program. Oh my god, a computer player. Oh jeez, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's it's very bouncy. Like you sort of hit the button, and you fly way up. Like it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's hard to sort of feather yourself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> see what I mean? Like, <laughs> that was so easy. Like it zoomed like yeah. zoomed way up. I mean, I guess we should clarify that I am orange and you're purple. Oh right. I I'm sure people have probably figured that out, but true. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well you might as well keep keep going. See how far you can get. Well, I, okay. If we're gonna, oh, well. if, if I'm gonna keep going, I'd rather do it in like a single player when there's a bunch of guys. So maybe right. we'll try like another combat round, and sure. maybe we'll maybe we can show sort of what it looks yeah, like for we'll, a single player. We'll a, um, so here's one thing I have always thought. You remember the Super Mario Brothers, uh, like the arcade game, exactly the original game, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't this level layout look it does. suspiciously like that? Yeah, it's very, it's very, very similar for sure. Yeah. Sometimes, um, oh. I, oh shoot, my friends and I would uh, just play those, uh, you know, in Mario 3, you could just yes. keep battling yeah, yeah, over yeah. and over yeah. and stuff. Sometimes we would just do that for fun. Yeah. Wasn't, there a, wasn't there a game that had that as a, like a playable so if you thing, got if you got the lost if you got the lost levels Mario three on Super Nintendo oh that's what it was at the, yes, start, yes, at the yes. start screen you could do one player two player or battle mode right that's what I'm thinking of. and I specifically did with friends as well also oh, play geez. like the battle mode um oh yeah oh man so are we birds what what are we like I'm trying we're, to look at this and so we're what I am. we're like a knight on oh, we're like a knight <laughs> on a griffin or something like that is that what it is yeah it it's. You can kind of make it out, maybe like a knight on an ostrich. Oh my gosh, I just, just lowered myself right into the lava, out of nowhere. Because you are a fool. That was ridiculous. Come here! Oh! <laughs> I got the egg, I think I got the egg though. Yeah, you did. <laughs> like right before. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh. It is, it is actually crazy bouncy. This is so bouncy. Yeah, it, it is insane. So how much, uh, oh jeez. <laughs> How much uh, memory does it take, um, roughly, like for a oh. game like this? These games are like kilobytes. Is it that? It's that small. It's, it's tiny, tiny. Like compared to a modern game. So what's a modern game? What's what's say a PS4 game or something? Oh, I mean that's that you're talking gigabytes. Okay. Gigabytes, if not terabytes, yeah. sometimes. Uh, but like, you know, I think an N64 game was like four megabytes or something, and a PS1 oh game gosh. ranged. Okay. So what's what would be the standard? I mean, it probably varies, obviously, but a standard NES game, like what would the size be? They like would, Mario, they, well, Mario 3 was probably They'd be there. kilobytes as well. Oh, really? Um, but like this, uh, like I don't know offhand. Someone can correct me in the comments, but I want to say if I had to guess like 16 kilobytes, you could do a game like this. Oh, really? Jesus. But for like Nintendo, you might be talking like 200 kilobytes. Just seems like, it seems like nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's remarkable how much they were able to pack into... Uh, that <laughs> I, I couldn't get down there it's too bouncy i know yeah <laughs> okay here let's do an honest duel here i'll start at this side you start at the other side oh sorry so what are we doing so you start on the far right platform like just try to kill each other yeah we'll do like okay, a countdown on. like a gentleman's duel okay ready hold on wait for this guy to get oh, out man. of here <laughs> ah! okay ready three two, two one, one go, go. Oh, <laughs> it's I, like I, got I, him. I realized I messed up, and then it was just like nothing I could do to correct yeah. it. Oh, you see that he yeah. uh, he changed course on a dime. Okay, here let's do one more. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. We'll we'll do another honorable duel. Okay, a true jazz. So sorry. So does this just keep going and going until? Yeah, it just goes forever. Here after okay after this, when one of us dies, then we'll do like a single player. We can like see how far it goes. Where am I? You're, you're, oh, what the? <laughs> Jeez, it, it, the controls are so wonky. Okay, okay let's just let the egg go. Okay, okay ready? ready? One, Three. two, two, one, go. <laughs> ah, yeah, you went up to the ceiling. Oh! oh. Ah. See, it's like you make a tiny mistake. You have like a second to recover. Yeah. All right, this is it. We got... Oh, no, you got two lives. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're even. <laughs> All right. Mono a mano. I mean, I guess this would be kind of... Fun, wouldn't it? 
This, I could see this, like, in the 80s. I, I'm curious in the 80s, like, how many people play this as, like, a drinking game or something with buddies. You did, like, a tournament or something. Oh, man. Did people do that back then? Oh, jeez. I just keep... I Like, I imagine, like, before people go out to the bar or whatever, like, they would, like... That, flip, flip on their Atari? Yeah, man. Play some Pong or combat or oh. joust. Oh, Jeez, I'm, not, I'm doing very poorly. That's it. Yeah, okay. So here, let's do a, a reset and let me toggle some switches. Okay. So this is... Here, you can you can do the first one. Okay. So this is just the solo mode. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't okay, move. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> reset. Uh, okay, so there you go. So bouncy. Yeah. And now I think this will play more like the Mario arcade game where like the higher you go, the more enemies you see. And I want to say there are different enemies, but truthfully, I don't 100% remember. So I guess like, you will find out. It's weird. Like you push the button. There's maybe a half second delay. Yeah. And then you and start then, then he starts walking. It's just yeah. it's so bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels weird. Come here. <laughs> There you go. I should probably stay up at the bottom, I bet. Yeah, I think the edges, yeah, start turning Holy to lava. Jeez, no move, get out of there! <laughs> fly, bird, fly! I, I, I need him to come down. I can't, can't hit him when he's up at the top. Dude. Yeah, it's too bouncy. Oh, that was good. Now, did you ever play a balloon fight? Because we said earlier, like this is very similar kind of. Um, game. oh, oh dang. Uh, I mean, I believe I have. Yes, at some point I have. Um. Oh, geez, turns into a... Oh, yeah, he'll hatch. Uh, yeah, I guess that never happened when we were playing, mm. but yeah, they will eventually hatch out of the egg. Um, I mean, yeah, Balloon Fight... I, I haven't played that a lot, but I've definitely seen it and, you know... Yeah, yeah. I've tried it before. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, I'm trying to, like, go forward. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Come here! I shouldn't... I feel like we even have an advantage because we're playing with like modern controllers. But if you're playing like I, I have Atari controllers in the oh, drawer somewhere. Yeah, I if you what, had that out, it's I like what that would be like yeah. even more brutal. I don't know. Like, okay, here's another question for you. Do you find that D pads are just better than joysticks when it comes to controlling games? Um, yeah, because this is. I mean, you're using the analog stick right now, but it's close to a D pad. I mean, is D pad more precise, maybe? I, well, sorry, I get that's probably it not the way. It, yeah. it depends on the game you're playing, but yeah, I mean. Well, I guess yeah, here's yeah. here's the thing. I, like I've always thought, if you're playing, um, oh. <laughs> if you're playing any kind of platformer, a joystick sucks. Yeah. But if you're playing like you know a flying game, a mech game, you know like something where you're like piloting something, I think a joystick is right. better. I, that, I could see that. Yeah. Um, when we were kids, actually. Um, oh. oh, get it! Oh, yeah, there geez. you go. Just bouncing all over the yeah. place. Uh, sorry, when we were kids. When we were kids, um, <laughs> Jeez, what the, like, are you serious? We had an NES for a while, and we had no controllers. We only had one of those like, uh, like joysticks, where yeah. like the trigger was B and the button on top was A. Oh man! And you played games like that. I, I was gonna say, have you ever tried to play Mario Brothers with no. that? It is awful <laughs> i'm gonna have to try that now <laughs> yeah now, is, now i'm kind of curious to be honest uh i think it was the quick shot something that we had we had no no controllers and it was the worst i had a quick shot uh snes controller uh, like a joystick what? no like an actual controller oh, okay. you, you could put turbo on i remember uh sometimes like i would secretly put it on oh wait yeah. when i was playing my <laughs> In, friends yeah i have that egg that was weird um, when I was playing, you know, like Street Fighter or something, yep. and then you could do some of the moves without even moves. like, yeah, doing anything. It's kind of cheap, yep. I guess. I'm like, farts. <laughs> I mean, Turbo could be a big advantage depending on the game. Well, because you know, um, like Blanca has his electric. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Shot. It would just you do you, it automatically. You, you, you just push the button and it just go every right? time. Yeah, like a Turbo button. Jeez. Oh, um, go. yeah. The only game we owned that the uh joystick was actually good for was we had fester's quest which i don't know if you've seen that or played it i definitely know of it i don't think i've ever played fester's quest actually it's like a top-down game and you have to shoot but oh, my oh, my, oh wow um you have to press the b button every time you want to shoot but it, it, this joystick also had turbo so yeah. it was like the turbo was a big advantage right but because it was top down the joystick wasn't too bad yeah but yeah, any platformer, I think, D-pad or analog stick these days is pretty good. Yeah, so I thought there'd be more enemies. Oh I, I legit, I seemed, like, I thought I recalled, like, wow. eventually there's tons and tons of enemies. Okay, so if you start running, 
if you hold oh, <laughs> if, you, if you hold the joystick over and you start running uh it's extremely difficult to stop it, it yeah yeah it yeah. takes quite a bit for him to stop he it's sort to of stop it has like very primitive momentum uh but it's like the momentum is not implemented super well yeah the little oh my god a little basic oh jeez <laughs> I give it a shot. Yeah, I'll give it one shot. So I got to twelve, I think. I think I was at twelve. Maybe. All right. Uh, how do we do this? So your first, this was your first experience with Joust. Yeah. So w what do you think of it? I mean, it's okay. I I feel like I would get bored of this, to be honest. Yeah. If I like just sat like if if we're you know in 1983 or whatever that said on the splash screen, and this is it. Maybe you'd be excited because you wouldn't have anything else and you right. wouldn't know any better. Yeah. But like, I mean, like, so for example, like a long time ago, uh, we played Utopia. Yeah. Same thing. Like it's sort of Atari era. Um, but I don't know. It's just, it was, it was the same kind of graphics and everything, but I felt it was, you had more control over the game and it was just, it wasn't repetitive like this. Like you were making decisions and stuff and it was a lot more fun. I feel. Yeah. Um, not that this isn't fun, but I just feel like this could get a little boring after yeah. a while i don't know like maybe that's just me but i think a game like this would definitely be more fun like like imagine like you invited a handful of friends over you're like getting ready to go out oh look there are different enemies oh okay. why did you get that but i didn't get that i think whatever mode you were playing on only had one type uh, i guess i, I mean this, this, this kind of changes everything yeah this, this makes it this way is, more interesting a, right well, this is a big difference yeah oh jeez. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think like if you had a bunch of friends over, you know, you got like buddies and girlfriends and you're like, you know, like just trading off next person to die, you know, takes a drink and then, you know, the next person plays like I could see it being yeah, like a thing. lot more but you're collecting, interesting. Sorry, you're collecting letters there. Do you see that? Was that letters? No, I am. Oh, this is a bonus stage. Go for wow. the A. I mean, yeah, okay. This is, oh. this, this is a little better. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, the, yeah. So the game's definitely not. It's not bad, but um, I don't know. It's very repetitive and tedious, almost. I find. Yeah. Uh, especially because the controls are quite wonky, as we whoa sort of mentioned. Yeah, the controls are actually like fairly difficult. Like I'm trying here, but it, it would be much different whoa, if, if it was geez. precise controls. I bet. Yeah. Now, is, do you think that's just a limitation of the Atari at the time, or is that on purpose that they coded it like this? Uh, I think it's a combination of limitation and, uh, like, uh, bad programming. Right. Like, the, the Atari, it's no secret that a lot of its games were, like, rushed or, like, coded out really... Oh, Whoa, Jesus, guys are changing. Happening? Well, that moves really fast. Yeah. Doesn't that sound effect, eh? Yeah, I know. Ear. <laughs> Ear. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I wonder if we could try that one more time. The different enemies. Here, see see if okay, the I'll... enemies are different on the next level. I'll give it a shot. It's a lot harder actually with like the, the multiple yeah, enemies and them being different and stuff. More to pay attention to here. Yeah. Now what does it take to uh, advance the next level? You, you just you, whoever's on the screen, you just gotta kill. Oh, so them. if you clear if you clear the screen it's blank. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I think you're playing the same mode I was. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Oh! I, oh! Oh, my God! I don't know what happened there. I think you bumped him, like, head on, so nobody was higher than anyone else. Whoa! Shoot, Doctor. Yeah, that, wait, w it's way more intense now, Ooh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is this is actually not as boring, Yeah. I say. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, man. Sometimes they're like changing direction stuff too, I'm noticing. I wonder yeah. if they pay attention to you sometimes. Oh, so I guess you just have to kill the number of guys that are at the screen at the onset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I find it's easier to just kind of float down on it if you can time it. Yeah. Oh, 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 what? I feel like what I've... you flew into his butt. I don't I feel like I was really oh. near him. Can you? I don't know about that thing. I would just try and kill the other chicken. Or whatever. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> well, he turns into an egg. Run. Ah. Oh, maybe you do have to kill him. Did kill it? Happen. Oh, what, what the? Fuck? Oh man, that, that's so cheap. <laughs> Just disintegrate the floor beneath me. <laughs> See, I feel like a modern game would do things like blink the floor for a second, you know, yeah. or like reset you to the center of the arena, you know, like there's yeah. like little, little things. But I mean, in the old days of gaming, I feel like they didn't like hold your hand for as much. Like they were just sort of like, <laughs> yeah, no, totally. <laughs> you know, it's your own oh. fault for playing. Well, I got 
I don't know what the difference between the gray I feel like, guys yeah, are. I feel like they're faster. They faster. I feel like they're moving a little faster, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Smart. What's the letter there? E. I think it's the, it's the random letters the stage you're on. Or it's spelling a word. Oh, bonus oh, stage. Bonus stage. Oh, thanks. Oh. Nice. Go, go, go. Though they will turn into, uh, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I remember. That got me. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. oh. Get it. Wait for that one. Oh. <laughs> that, that, was, that was very poorly timed. Yeah. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Oh, he, did he just speed up, or is that just me? I feel like he just maybe, sped up. because he's the last guy, maybe. Yeah. Oh, get it. Ooh, there you go. He's trying to turn around there. I gotta stay off that bottom platform. Yeah, stay off, because you never know. And I think this is where I died. Yeah, yeah, because that guy spawns from the beginning. Just be careful of him. Oh, ah! shit! <laughs> it's funny, because like, in that situation, I'm literally just letting off the controls completely. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to let myself fall. Okay, one more guy. Oh, shit. I'm to try to... Oh, oh okay. Okay, so, so those you can't even touch at all, yeah, yeah. clearly. So that's just a... Guy this is your last you. life. I was just trying to duck there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, like, it's hard to... It's really hard with that that random guy in there to like. Where are you? Where am I? You're off screen. I'm flying. What? Ah, <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. You what glitched happened. the game. I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, you're back to four lives. I think you must have died. Oh, jeez. Oh, and it's like kind of just restarted now. Yeah, I guess it just restarted. That's weird. Do you want to try one more time? Um. Yeah, I'll do one more while we wrap up here. Um. So yeah, what are your Overall uh, so, thoughts on just yeah, I mean this this version, whatever whatever sort of version we're playing here, um, yeah. setting is is a lot more fun. When there's multiple guys and you have the enemies, uh, much better than just a single guy. That easier mode, however yeah, we were yeah, playing yeah. that, um, that I could definitely see getting boring. This would probably get boring, but not as fast. If that makes yeah, any yeah, sense. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one thing I think would be cool, and I don't even know if you maybe you can do this in Joust, but imagine four player. Oh man, that would be kind of chaotic. I mean, I could see them remaking something like this. Yeah, you know? like being multiplayer. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know. I'm just going off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure this has been remade before. There might be other versions. I mean, maybe some... I, it's just for me. Like when I saw Joust in the book, I'm like, oh, like Atari, right? Like, yeah, that that's like where I know this game from. So 1983. Yeah, hey, I mean, someone can connect, correct me if I'm wrong, but I for some reason I have a memory of there being an NES version of Joust. Maybe it doesn't look like this specifically, or maybe it's a completely different game with the same name. But mm -hmm. I have a feeling that i've seen the oh. ps box with joust i don't know i went right into the lava on the bonus level am i coming back out there <laughs> am i coming back oh my oh, god oh, boo you told me apart on the bonus level does it take a lot of extra data to put in that sound of the you know the, the bad guy who you can't kill no that sound it's, he makes? it's a pretty basic sound is it basic yeah yeah okay i say we end this on like one last duel okay if i can figure out how to put it into there we go. All right. How about just right from here? Right from here? All well, right. So we go head we'll on. Wait right? for this red guy to get out of Nothing here. Nothing happens if we just go head on, right? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Respawn. Let's do okay, ready? this. Ready? Go! Coming oh, fire. man! <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh what yeah! The heck? We were like... <laughs> we were equal there. That's what you get. Well, like I turned white. That's interesting. Like maybe if you don't deal with the enemies fast enough. Oh, they start to coming for you. Increase their skill. Ah! <laughs> it is kind of interesting having the enemies because it's like you trying to duel each other, but you have to watch out for these like rogues that right. are coming to get you. Yeah. Oh man. Get one more. I have one more. This is my last okay. one. Okay. Let's do one more honorable so, duel. Let's like keep. Winner takes all. <laughs> Hey, right ah! <laughs> I'm just trying to go. Yeah. Hey, is that what we're doing? Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> yeah, you're much more. That's what you get. <laughs> He's much more skilled. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, well, one of the games of the book, Thousand One Video Games, is Play Before You Die. I think, um, yeah, if you're going to play, playing with friends is the way to go. I would be curious if there is a four player mode. In fact, I'm not even going to look it up. If there is one, you let us know in the comments. And especially if you played it 
back in the day, four players or even two players as a drinking game or something. That would so be how kind many, of fun to wait, hear. Was there a multi-tap for Atari? Yeah, there was. There was, really. But I think it was for four paddles, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh. So I don't know if there was four controllers. So this probably didn't. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anyone play this four players, but yeah. I'm just sort of thinking out loud, like, how cool would that have been? Right. Ah, uh, get the Get eggs. in there! <laughs> uh, it... If, if you can get all the eggs on the bonus stage, I do kind of remember as a kid, like, it's like, yeah, then you, you know, you just beat the stage, but, yeah, obviously, anyway. Guys, what do you think of gels? Let us know in the comments down below, and as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. You did subscribe and all that stuff, and we will catch you in the next one. See you later. Peace! Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> 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 Are you criticizing their choice in sound effects? <laughs> I actually kind of like it. The Atari had very limited sound effects. I'm going to make that my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you call me. <laughs> uh, uh, it's like a bad alarm clock. It, uh, yeah. it does have that very sort of old arcade sound. Oh, yeah, arcade very, sound, very right? arcade yeah. yeah. In the